Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection. Today I want to talk about something that I saw here in Australia in JB Hi-Fi. That's a store that sells TVs, they sell laptops, PCs, Blu-rays, DVDs, CDs, vinyl, white goods. They sell the whole thing, Apple products as well. And it was the arcade 1UP Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the four player a 1UP arcade. And I'm like, oh my God, that look amazing when I first saw it. But when I started taking a deeper look into the actual arcade cabinet, um, I just couldn't believe just the lack of attention to detail and just the way it looked. Um, look, I'm no expert in the arcade stuff anymore. I used to play the arcades back in the day, played heaps of arcades over the years. I don't own um, Arcade One Up or any of those products. Um, so I guess, you know, I'm just an average consumer that used to love the Ninja Turtles games back in the day. And can you imagine if I was online and I saw this product and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing and order it. And what I'm gonna show you, I took a lot of video uh, footage of this particular arcade one up, which was in store, uh, all set up and working. And two weeks later, it wasn't working, and then all of a sudden it disappeared. So I don't know what happened there. But I just want to talk about the cabinet, the way it looks, and just you know, this is a product is that's selling for about eleven hundred dollars here in Australia. I've seen it over in other countries, America, and especially selling for like half of that price. I don't know why we're always getting rip off here, but look. I look, I've got this all on the iPad, so we're going to have a look at the actual um, cabinet itself. So when I first looked at this thing, I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing, $1,199. Yes, it is for player. Um, it comes with one stool. So here is something for four players and comes with one stool. But initial reaction was, oh my God, this is incredible because all those memories came flooding back. I used to love playing the Turtles and... Uh, game in the arcade along with the Simpsons and a few other ones. I, I think these those two ones are the real standout. So it does have the original Ninja Turtle arcade game plus Turtles in Time which was on the Super Nintendo which I absolutely love. One of my favorite games of all time. So you know if I had that kind of disposable income and I was looking at this online I would probably jump at the opportunity to get at least one um, arcade machine here in the house it's just the you know a lot of people do that and it'd be great to have it but when i started looking at it, the um the actual cabinet itself and when you look at the size of it the thing that really disappoints me is the the characters the, the, just look at the ninja turtles that doesn't look like something that i remember from the 90s and this is supposed to be a product released I think I think I think it was two years ago in America and um, just just the artwork on the side of that cabinet is just atrocious um, compared to what I've seen in other countries it's totally different from what I've seen in America and you know you got when you scroll down it's just got this you know volcano and all that sort of stuff which it's got nothing to do with the game. There's no real gameplay footage of that. And the turtles just look really weird and it, it just doesn't look like something that um, I remember from back in the day. And when I looked at the actual cabinet itself at the front with all the joysticks and all the buttons, I noticed one button was missing, um, which was, I don't know what happened there. Overall that, you know, it, even that, even, on the on that uh, the, the control board, it just the turtles just don't look. It really doesn't look that great. When you look at the other side of the panel of the uh, the side of the arcade cabinet, the same thing as this. There's no originality. It just it's just a carbon copy of the other side. You think that with something you're paying top dollar for, it would have better images on it, higher quality. It just looks like somebody's come along on Wish or Alibaba. Um, a buyer on or you know, a seller on there and they just knock something together it's just really low quality and just doesn't look good at all which is really disappointing for uh, what is an amazing arcade game back in the day and um, yeah I just didn't like that uh, the stool the stool 
again i don't like the way the turtles look they do not look like that in turtles in time on the cover of the um super nintendo i can just imagine over time sitting on that still only one still four player co-op game one still um you would imagine within maybe the six to twelve months all the cracks appearing on that particular stool i it would probably just be sitting there as a display do not sit you would have a sign on there saying do not sit on um yeah I, I couldn't see that lasting too long um when i looked at the actual screen itself yeah i, I tried to film a good quality and that's the best quality that i could get but um down below it says uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Again, the images, the artwork is, is it's, it's just weird. It just doesn't look like it belongs on that arcade uh, board at all. When I took a closer look at it, I'm like, yeah, this is, this is not the way I remember the Turtles. I, I don't know why they went with this artwork. It's just really bizarre, but that's what they went with. I did try playing it. The response was really good on it. There was no lagging or anything, so that looked okay. But I, I just couldn't get over the artwork. That was my main issue. And here's something that's going for just under $1,200, say, here in Australia. And you would expect it to look a lot better than, than what it does. And it was really disappointing for me to see that. Um, otherwise, it looks great. It played okay. But the first thing you see when you walk into a game room or anything is it could it is the cabinet it did have risers on this one but um when you look at the artwork and stuff it, for somebody that had never seen it before probably would say oh my god that looks that, look, that looks really cool but for me who used to play this thing back in the day i'm looking at it and think this is crap um but that's just my personal opinion uh i'd like to know anybody in america especially because did you get this particular version? Because I've seen another version, I think it was an RG85 channel going back two years ago. And the, 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 the artwork on the, on the cabinet was way different from this heap of crap here that we got. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's a product that has been re-released. I'm not too sure, but I really like to know, um, particularly from uh, the enthusiasts that own a lot of the arcade, even the, the arcade one-ups in America. Uh, what's your take on this? Because to me, it's really low quality um, imaging on the sides of the panel. So yeah, I'd be interested in any, any comments below uh, about that because yeah, you're paying top dollar, especially here in Australia, with the import taxes and everything else we have to deal with um, for this sort of stuff. There's probably a luxury tax on it as well. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I would like to know what you think about this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.